A chilly night in San Antonio. The Johnson Jaguars and their fans are waiting to heat up tonight against Clark. They're suffering their first loss of the season last week against Reagan, who knocked them out of number one in 12's top 12, already up 7-3. to three. In the second quarter, the Jaguars go for more. Running back Matthew Rodriguez bursts into the secondary, makes a couple of defenders miss before he's brought down, but not before he gets an 11-yard gain. The Jags cap off that drive with quarterback Ty Reasoner diving into the end zone to extend Johnson's lead to 14-3. to three. The final from Comalander Stadium. Look at that. Johnson edges out the win 35-28. The final game of the season for the MacArthur Bramers with Madison trying to fight for a playoff spot in District 28-6A. We're in the first quarter with the Mavs facing the fourth and three at midfield. Quarterback Kyle Royal goes deep to Jalen Stewart who makes a great grab over two defenders, gets it all the way down to the Bramers seven-yard line. Next play, Royal rolls out to the right, dumps it off to Keyshawn Rogers who scores the first touchdown of the game. The final from Heroes, it is 34-0 Madison at Gustafson Stadium. The Stevens senior cheerleaders with their homecoming Mums, the Falcons already up seven to two over O'Connor. The Harlan Hawks need Stevens to have a win to have a shot at the playoffs tomorrow. On the Stevens defense steps up. Leonard Adams comes up with the interception, and he's taking it all the way back for the 65-yard pick six and a 14 to two lead. The final from Gustafson Stadium, 28 to eight. Stevens, the Taft Raiders going up against the Holmes Huskies in their final game of the regular season with playoff implications for the Raiders. No score in the first quarter. Third and short for Taft Raiders running back T.J. Andrews bounces to the outside, makes a nice spin move to break a tackle, gets inside the Husky. 15-yard line, third down again. They go to Andrews again, but this time goes right up the middle for the 13-yard TD. The early 7-0 lead, the final from Ferris, 48-6 Taft. Hot chocolate is a popular item tonight at the concession stand at Edgewood Veterans Stadium in a game between Jefferson and Memorial to see who keeps playing on. The Mighty Mustangs up 7-3 in the third and are facing 4th and 1 on the minimum 10-yard line. Quarterback Richard Herrera rolls out, dumps it off to Dylan Banda, and look at him shed the defender to get into the end zone for the touchdown. The final, Jefferson takes it 14-9. A bizarre incident occurred in tonight's game between Far San Juan Alamo and Edinburgh when an Edinburgh defensive lineman Emmanuel Durant is ejected from the game moments later. Durant charges the field, tackles the ref. The official lay motionless on the ground while the player was subdued by the coaching staff, later escorted off the field by police. We do not know the condition of the official, but it does remind us of a similar incident in 2015 after two players say they were ordered by an assistant coach of Jay to tackle an official during the game.